With summer right around the corner, it happens every year. Hundreds of parents have already started to line up for the summer fun registration that kicks off tomorrow. Kamaka Pili joins us live from Manoa with more. Kamaka. That's right, Justin. They've been lining up since yesterday morning. My goodness gracious, they really love their kids. <laughs> well, summer fun is right around the corner, so this uh, you have to be the in-person registration kicks off tomorrow. Now, we're here with Nate, who is part of the Parks and Recreation. Thank you very much for having us and, and for being here. Now, I mean, people are lining up since yesterday. There's already hundreds of people in line. What is so popular about this summer fun program? Uh, really two things in my mind. It's extremely affordable and has outstanding quality. So for the maximum amount of money they spend, it's between $25 and $100 for a little over a six-week program. That's awesome. Not only that, but it's really good quality. Our recreation staff does a good job of creating good programming. They have excursions that the Keiki can go on. There's all kinds of sports they can get involved with, of Ayana, arts and crafts. It's really a great immersive experience for the kids. Well, right on. Thank you very much, Nate. I appreciate it. Thanks for having us down here. Now, again, this is just the kickoff. Now, this is for um, tomorrow will be for Districts 1 and 2. Now, District 1 is from Hawaii Kai to Makali. District 2 is Makiki through Aiea. Now, tomorrow's registration will be starting at 9 o'clock, lasting all the way through 12 p.m., but there's also May 13th and May 14th from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Now, Districts 3, 4, and 5, that's District 3, Pro Ridge, White night Wahiwa, District 4, Waialua all the way through Waimanalo, and District 5 is the Patsy T. Mink Central Regional Park. That will be it, uh, begin its registration May 18th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., along with May 20th and 21st from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Now, again, you have to be here and sign up in person and it caps off around 10 to 11,000 depending on how much people are working. So there's also an opportunity for you if you want to work the summer pro uh, fun program. Make your way over to parks.honolulu.gov for all the information about summer fun but also to sign up for the employment to help and be a part of the summer fun program. The more people working the programs, the more keiki are going to be able to be uh, enjoying the all the experiences that they're going to be getting this summer. So again, here at Manoa District Park, this round will start off tomorrow 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock and then the second round will be May 13th and 14th so come down there's already hundreds of people here so the sooner you get here the better chance you're gonna have Kamaka Pili here at Manoa District Park back to you guys in the studio all right, thanks a lot, Kamaka. Gina, you had a good point about this summer fun program, right? I mean, it's it. You can't stay home for that price, right? <laughs> Even if you stay at home, it's going to be more expensive than the summer fun. That's such a good By point. By the time you be it. it, you'll be spending that much in peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, and that brings us to our question of the day: What are your kids doing this summer, or what is your favorite summer memory? Comment on our Facebook page, and we'll read those comments on the KHON2 mm -hmm. News at seven on K High. I never went to summer fun. My parents just made me. Stay at home with my sister. Ah, that's yeah. fun. My kids are going to a lot of soccer camps, uh, and then one does unaccompanied minor to Grandma's New York farm and learns oh, how to take in the hay. Sounds so, like a little fun. manual labor. Right on.